All right, we are back. We are back. We are back. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Zach from the Indie Rundown podcast here on our YouTube page. And here to bring you a quick little video, a uh, little trailer breakdown, shot by shot analyst, frame by frame of the new. I don't know if you heard about it. It's this little show called Game of Thrones. Um, it's not that big of a deal. You know, we've only been waiting uh, about a year and a half for this damn thing. So, um, but hey, before I get any further, got another special guest on the phone. Troy Parker, man, coming back to show some more love. Fellow Game of Thrones fan. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? What's up? Looking forward to washing my balls. I've been on a uh, <laughs> a ball strike waiting for Game of Thrones to come out. So it's it's time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That was perfect. That was perfect, man. We're not so fun <clears throat> here, dude. You know that. That's what I love about you. Yeah. It's great, I'm excited, though. The, you know, it's funny because I honestly, I didn't. I, I figured we'd get a trailer sometime in March. But, you know, you just kind of start going on with life and you just kind of forget about it. I forgot all about it. And yesterday I woke up and I had an alert on my phone. New Game of Thrones trailer. I'm like, oh, no. Dude, oh, I, shit. As much as I'm psyched about Marvel, I'm way more excited about this. Yeah, me too. I've I've been a huge. It's funny because I've only been a huge Game of Thrones fan for like three years now. I first got into the show in 2016, but in that short amount of time, I've I'm very confident to say that I've eclipsed most other people in my knowledge of Game of Thrones, the history, the Ooh. lore, the universe. Yeah, you put me on a Game of Thrones trivia, dude. I'm walking out of there with at least a 80, 90 percent. Uh, I just love it, man. I, I this it's it's like Star so damn Wars. Good. No, it's, it's better. It, it's no, no, no. What Star I'm saying Wars. is like it's it's like Star Wars to me in a sense of I love the world, the universe, the characters, man. Just uh, I, there's something about it, man. OK, I could see that. I mean, when I first saw Star Wars as a kid in the theater, I was. Yeah. OK. And this and this kind of now, granted, I'm an adult now, kind of mm -hmm. on, on paper anyway. <laughs> and uh, Game of Thrones. I mean, I, I'm a diehard Marvel fan, dude. Die, I mean, but this sure. I, I like this even better. I hate to say it, but it's true. No, I mean, I, I can't argue with that, dude. I mean, April, huh, I'm going to get dehydrated from all the orgasms in April, put it that way. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you, you're going to be in due for two or three every Sunday, right? While the show's airing, which last I heard, it's just a rumor. Obviously, it's not confirmed yet, but every episode's going to be like almost feature length, which yep. if, you can, yep. if you can believe that. So, um, and in game, and in game comes out the same month. So that's why. You know, I think I said this before, but. Think about this. The fourteenth, we'll have Game of Thrones back after a year and a half, dude. Then the next Sunday, another Game of Thrones episode. Then that Thursday or Friday, in game premieres, and then another. It's like, dude, how are we going to function as society when all this is going on at the same time, bro? It's like our minds are going to be so blown by in game by the time we sit down to watch Game of Thrones that Sunday. How are we going to be? I guess it's going to be adrenaline. It's just going to be flowing through us. Like, okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> you know, it's the coming of Christ. Oh my God! You know the one thing I do hate about it though <laughs> is that it's it's the last season. That's what really bums me out. Uh, like a, yeah, yes and no because I mean, think about it. You got other you got other projects that are starting to get in the works because now they know that Game of Thrones proves that this thing that 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 this genre, if you will, is viable. That it's the most this is the most successful TV show of all time. Of course, yeah, and no yeah. one can compete with it. Yeah. So now that it's scaling down and soon to be over, hello. Other opportunities are going to come out. People are going to start doing shit. Um, mm -hmm. The bar is the bar is set, son, and it is set astronomically high. I don't honestly, man. I don't think it'll ever be topped, at least for years. With Agreed. this, this has been world bending. Um, but hey, man, we could talk about this all day. Uh, I think we should jump right into this. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of breeze through this frame by frame, and we can just talk about what we think's going on, man. So. Without further ado, let's jump right into this first shot of our girl Arya here. Now, here's here's an interesting thing. She is one of the most badass, deadly, no fear assassins on the planet. It takes a lot to get her scared. Like, what the hell is she scared? She looks scared here. She's running in the hallways. And it's just like to get Arya of all people scared like that. Holy shit, man. Obviously, I think it's the the army of the dead or the night king or somebody, but what do you think about that, man? It's either that or or on a flip side, she's been alone for so long. She hasn't been around family, and now that she is around family, they're they're connected again. Then now the family's starting to break up again just because you know they got to go fight in the north, but Sansa's going to stay back and all this other crap. She doesn't want the family to split up again. Maybe just the maybe it's that emotional roller coaster. She's just like she's done. But here she looks really dirty too though, so and she's yeah. running, 
and she's running through the catacombs. The right side of her face has been smashed or she's cut right. or something. She's looking behind her like something's chasing her. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, it's it's got to so be – my first gut instinct is Army of the Dead, but who knows? I mean, it's so vague, you know, but – yeah. Something's going on with her. It's like holy shit. Arya doesn't run from just anybody. You know, this is no. Like... <laughs> well, let's 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 look even closer. I mean, are those are those the catacombs under under uh their fuck their fucking home? What's their home called again? God damn it, what? Winterfell. I th- I, th- I want to say I don't yes, I don't man. think it is. No, dude, it's too tight. Yeah, it's too, you could too, you could be right. It's yeah. too tight, and it's a different type of structure because the, in the catacombs in, under Winterfell, at least as far as in the crypt, it doesn't look this way. Could be like a hallway we don't know about, something like that. There's uh-huh. definitely there's definitely a light source over her left shoulder, like a, either a window or a stairwell going up. Do you see that? Uh, yeah. So I don't know. And then it cuts immediately to the ramparts. So maybe she's actually. I don't yeah. know, dude. I don't know, dude. It's it's hard to yeah. say. I, I I would like to believe it's Winterfell somewhere. Something's going on. Obviously, she's running from somebody, but yeah, well, it's. Uh, I don't see knows? her. Bre- I don't see her breath. That's also true. That's also so, true. So if she's in Winterfell and it's cold as fuck right now, and she's running around, even if she's in the catacombs, you would see her breath, and they're pretty good about detail like that. Yeah, she's fearing for her life too, and she's got that Valerian dagger in her hand too. So something's uh-huh. going on, man. But. Let's move on to this next one of Sir Davos Seaworth walking on the ramparts. Uh, This just looks like a normal shot of getting ready for battle. Um, Because clearly we all know that, I think, they're saying one of the earlier episodes, like maybe episode two or three or even four, It's there's going to be like the big battle of Winterfell. You know, of course the army of the dead is going to show up at Winterfell and there's going to be a huge battle, probably a lot of casualties. But I think this is, I would probably venture to say this is getting ready for said battle. It looks like they're just waiting or could be another minor battle, but either way, Davos, you know, remember that one episode a few seasons back, he, he told, uh, I don't remember who he was talking to, but he was like, yeah, I always like to walk before the night of a battle or something, or yeah. get my mind ready or something, but yeah, that's what it looks like he's going on here, um, just typical, you know, lying in wait, so what do you think? I agree, uh, I'm looking a little closer, I'm trying to see if, uh, so you think, yeah. this is, you think this is Winterfell? I mean, it does look like it looks I like think so. I, I think, think so. It is. And with you know, with the archers and the and the and the, the bowmen behind them, yeah, I, I'd venture to say it's Winterfell. Okay, it just looks like some standard uh, guys behind them, soldiers. I don't think it's anybody in particular. Yeah, I, I don't see any of the uh, sigils or anything that I can make out. Yeah, let's. Okay, and then it goes back to Arya running again. Looks like the same sequence. Yep. Boy, she honestly, dude, she looks like she looks rough right here. Something's going on, man. Maybe she got attacked by something or someone, and she's... I don't think it's an army or anything chasing her, but whatever's going on with her, man, she, my guess is she just got attacked. Somebody's chasing her. It's 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 too hard to tell right now, but all we know is she's running from somebody, and somebody got a good lick on her, so... Dude, uh, I mean, in all actuality, she could have fallen down a hole, and she's trying to get back to, to where everyone else is, and it's a matter of time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Next, next frame. Fuck this chick. Yeah, exactly right. So uh, next up, we got Varys here in a room full of looks to be women and children. Uh, looks like the Crips, actually. Um, this does look like the Crips. Now, what this reminded me of is that one episode of Blackwater in season two, where all the women and children went down into the dungeons yep. while the big battle was going on. So, I, first gut instinct tells me that's what this is going on here because Varys isn't a fighter; he's not a warrior; he's just a a eunuch. But um, that's really all I think is going on here. Nothing too important. Dude, hashtag Unix matter. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> so, okay, okay, and then it goes back to Ari again. That, that's got to mean something, that it's going back and forth. It keeps showing her. Yeah, well, like- the whole time she's voicing over, I know death, he's got many faces, and then it cuts to this shot of her holding the dragon glass, and she's clean. And she says, I look forward to seeing this one. So my thought is, obviously, I know death, he's got many faces. She's looking forward to this one. My assuming is she's talking about the Night King. And it's very interesting that she's holding this dragon glass dagger right here. Yeah. So that's kind of what that leads me to believe is she's talking about the Night King. Like, basically, I look forward to this motherfucker coming in here and trying to wreck shit because we're going to be ready, basically. That's what I took from it. So let's move on to this next one. Okay, it's April 14th. Uh, hold that. I take that what What's I up? gather what I gather from this frame is that it's coming out April 14th. Perfect. Is that what it was? I'm calling it. I was wondering about that. 
<laughs> I love that. I'm leaving that in. All right. Do so, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So we move on to three ships with Greyjoy banners, clearly. Uh, yeah. I think this is the Golden Company. Um, and I think this blonde-haired dude is Harry Strickland. He's a new character that they said he'd be the leader of the Golden Company. Some dude tried to say it was Jamie. He's like, dude, get the fuck out of here, bro. Jamie's up north, man. Or uh, is it? Or is it? What's her name? Who's that? What's her name? Uh, the one who was traveling with Jamie. The Brienne of Tarth. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Look at the I think sword. This is, yeah, but I think they were saying uh, Harry Street. I don't think that's Oathkeeper. No. Yeah, you're um, right. It's not Kurt. Yeah. But I yeah, I think it's the Gold Company. So it's going to be interesting to see how they they come into the mix. Uh, see, so yeah, now we now here's a good shot. The next frame is. Barrick, Tormund, and Ed. What well, looks to be this could be either be Castle Black or because the last time we saw Tormund and Barrick in the season finale, season seven, the wall came down and we didn't know if they lived or died. Of course, we all knew they fucking lived. They wouldn't just kill them off like that. But presumably, my thought process is they got away. They ran all the way down the wall, the top of the wall to Castle Black. Met up with Ed here, and maybe this is Castle Black. They're checking checking out something. Um, I don't think it's Castle Black, dude, because... But I was going to say, it could be Winterfell, it's gonna be too. Overrun. It's going to be overrun like a motherfucker. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe they reconvene up there and then head down south and come to Winterfell, maybe, or somewhere before that. Um, Because this looks this looks big. looks like they're in a big hallway with a big door. Uh, you know, and it kind of looks unfamiliar to them because Beric's got his flaming sword. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's my only thought is where is this at? Good point. Good point. So, yeah, man. But it's nice to see Tormund alive. I mean, there was a lot of people saying, wait, did he die? Did he die? Did him and Beric die? It's like, no, dude. They didn't die, bro. Yeah. And then we got a shot of Bran here with Sam, who's looking behind his shoulder like somebody's walking in the room, maybe. And the voiceover at the same time from Bran says, everything you did brought you where you are now, where you belong, home. I kind of think he's talking about John here. Basically, everything you did has brought you here. Where you belong, yeah. That's maybe so. a reaction. So it's, it's, hard, it, it, it's hard to judge with Brand, dude. He's so cryptic now. He's I so, know. Like he's very uh, deep. Yeah, yeah. And this scene right here could be more of them just talking about John's backstory or history. I mean, you you just never know with these two. There's so much information between the two of these guys. Yeah. So I'm curious to see their interaction this season. Um. So yeah, the next shot is King's Landing, the Red Keep, and a yep. shot of Cersei with uh, Kyburn next to her and the mountain behind her. Um, this is her smirk going that she's double crossed those guys. She did not back them. And later on, when when Lan- when uh, Jamie says later in the trailer, I made a promise to, right. to fight for the and I and I guarantee you that Jamie went on to fight with them and she stayed behind. She found a way. She's 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 a double crossing cunt, dude. She's not. She's not going to support it. Yeah, and also another thing too is this might be the Golden Company arriving to King's Landing. She's waiting for them. Maybe when they pull up to shore, who knows? But mm. no, I agree. I, I agree with you about double crossing. Could be. Um, yeah. Uh, so next shot we got Winterfell. Clearly Winterfell. Um, oh, oh yeah, for sure. Got a little boy here, and looks like an army. But that's sleep. Winterfell but, off in the distance. On the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's what I meant. Like up in the distance, but. They got an army here, which is clearly in the next shot. Danny and John arriving with it looks like the Unsullied. Yeah, that's the Unsullied. Unsullied, yep. Um, Unsullied, two dragons. Yep, Rhaegal and Drogon flying over her. Kind of mm, funny. Didn't Drogon is Drogon the one who got turned? No, that was Viserion. Okay, my bad. Yeah, you're good. It's kind of weird to see dragons over Winterfell, man. I just it's like holy shit, dude. It's the first time we've seen Sansa with dragons. That's a cool shot of them flying over Winterfell. You can see the Godswood in the background. And so let's move on to the Crips. Got Danny and John, and John's giving a voice over here. It says they're coming. Obviously, the Night King. Our enemy doesn't tire, doesn't stop, doesn't feel. Clearly talking about the Army of the Dead. So yeah, they're in the Crips now. Interesting moment here. Uh, I can't tell who John's statue is standing in front of. Now I don't know if this is pre-revelation that he's Lyanna's son, or he could be a Lyanna statue, or he could be a Ned statue. So it's it's going to be interesting to see. If this is post reveal of his birth or before, so mm. could go either way. Yeah, man. Like I bet it's I bet it's I bet it's a reveal. I think so too because look at his face. He looks deep in thought here, like he's really thinking. Like maybe oh shit. Like maybe he's just been told by Brandon Sam his true parentage, so he's down on the crypts. 
Yeah. Yeah, he's got some serious uh, brooding on his face here. And of sure. course, Danny, Danny's there to console him, and I wonder if she knows at this point. That's also that's, 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 that she fucked her brother-in-law, cousin, whatever the hell they are. Yeah. Nephew. Now, I'm kind of wondering how she's going to react to that news as well. Like, oh, fuck, I'm your aunt, dude. Holy shit. Like, it's going to... I don't know, man. It's going to be weird. No, it's not. There's bigger fish to fry, dude, than incest that, or whatever. That is also true. That is also true. So it moves on to a nice little compilation of uh, blacksmithing, getting ready for battle, and then a shot of Gendry. I love him. My man Gendry coming back. Uh, oh, yeah. He looks he looks ready to go. And then a shot of Jor Mormont here on his horse. This looks like there's a lot of rowdy people behind him and horses moving. This looks like pre-battle, maybe post-battle, not post-battle, and, but. And is this is this Winterfell? I I would like to say this is Winterfell. Yeah, the snow caps on the stuff in the background. I can see some snow on the ground too. So yeah, it's got the exact same top of the ramparts. Man, I, a lot of this trailer is Winterfell heavy. On actually, the more that I think about it. Well, they're not gonna they're not gonna show trailers for other shit. I imagine they're just gonna show for the first episode. Yeah, which I'm kind of hoping they. I'm kind of hoping that's the case, man. But uh, yeah, and that leads into a shot of Grey Worm and Miss Andre here giving a goodbye kiss, or maybe goodbye kiss. I don't know, just in case. It's nice to see them embrace each other. Hopefully, we don't lose one of them. Really don't. Ho- really hope we don't lose Grey Worm. Yeah, then it leads to somebody in the. I want to say it's Jamie. I mean, there's a close up of Jamie after this, but before there's a. It looks like Brienne maybe slinging down a sword. Um, looking at it closer here. Looks like a. It's hard to tell. She's so fucking tall. I know, but all I know is the orange glow. This looks mid battle. This looks like just chaos, man. And then it cuts to a close up of Jamie screaming. What looks like maybe someone's just been killed in front of him. Um, and he, he dirt all over his face, blood everywhere, fire in the background, just smoky. This is like whatever battle this is. This is in the midst of it. It just shit looks out of out of control. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. he's in the shit for um, sure, dude. Yeah. And then it goes to the throne room back in King's Landing. She's all comfortable and conniving and still sexy as fuck. But little Cersei here, uh, thinking about something. But she's proud. She's she's like, ha ha! I pulled something over on people. Yep, she is definitely happy about something. Could this be before she dies? Maybe I don't know. I think it's all pretty common knowledge that we all think she's going to die this season. Uh, I th- well, well, I think she thinks that the two armies are going to go against each other and get themselves so weak that her army can go through and take over everything. So she's like, yeah, cause isn't that kind of what up. she said last season? Like once they're done playing with each other in the North or, or so, she said something like that mm-hmm. or let them battle it out in the North. We'll, we'll stay here in the South or some shit. Yeah. Or something like that. And it's like, and Jamie made a good point in season seven when he said either the dead wins, they come South and kill us all or the living win. They know you betrayed them, and they come south and kill us all. It's like, yeah, either way, you're, either way, you're fucked, Cersei. So, yep. Before we move on, man, I want to ask you your personal opinion. Who do you think is going to be the one to kill Cersei? I kind of want it to be Arya. You think? I kind of I want it to be her. Um, because I think that she. Would have I think I think emotionally I would feel the most joy from Arya killing her than other people, Mm -hmm. or or maybe even Tyrion. But um, Mm -hmm. um, I I think it's gonna be more of a dramatic than that. I don't think it's gonna be like a a subterfuge or assassin thing like or what Arya would be involved in. I think the way this show has been building up, man, it has to be a big dramatic scene. You know, Um, my my brain has always leaned on either Arya or Jaime. Because I could see Jamie would Jamie would be a powerful that'd be a powerful death, dude. It would, and I think it would come full circle from the big from the from the first season. But but with Arya, they've always teased that as well. So it's like it's it's interesting mm-hmm. to see what kind of pitch they're gonna throw at us. Or they could just throw a curveball at us and have someone else kill her. I mean, I don't know, but Or she could yeah. live, dude. Or there you go. Or she could live too. <laughs> she could fucking live, man. Yep. You never I mean, know. Don't count that bitch out. Exactly, dude. She's lasted this fucking long. But um, all right, let's move on to the next shot. We got. I love this shot. Yeah, Rhaegal and Drogon flying around. Now it looks like they're up north a little bit, maybe north of the Wall again. I don't know why they'd be up there, especially in this shot with the canyon. Uh, maybe they're just. Maybe this is post everything, kind of towards the end of the series. They're free or something. Who knows? Scouting out some damage, seeing where that people too. are. You never know. Then it goes to the shot of Arya. 
looking up to the sky, people fluttering behind her. They're all looking up. Maybe dragons in the sky. Yeah, I think I so. Maybe they're arriving to Winterfell for the first maybe, time. Maybe she sees John and John riding one and Daenerys riding another. You know? Yeah, because if, if if you look at the end of the shot, at the very end of the shot, her mouth kind of goes up like she's about to smile. Yeah, she looks she looks happy about it. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's kind of what I want to believe. And then it goes to a, a, a badass shot of Grey Worm putting on his helmet, dude. Dude's about to fuck some shit up. Um, I'm in the intensity, dude. Just supreme beast mode right here. You know the Unsullied don't play, my man. That is correct. And then we got a shot of John at the God's Wood, the Weirwood tree. I love that tree. Uh, yeah, me too, man. It's such a badass location. Uh, this looks to be, this could be a multitude of things, man. Post-revelation, pre-revelation, he could be praying, talking to a distant relative. I mean, Bran could be sitting there in front of him. Who knows? That's could true. Be, could be something. Um, either way, though, I cannot wait to see what happens when John gets back to Winterfell. And all the Stark kids are there, and they're all together again. Yep. It's, it's going to be crazy, man. Uh, so then we got a, sh- a quick shot of the Hound here. Um, a badass shot. With some This this looks, again, to be in, in the midst of battle th- with the fire going on in the background. And looks like he's kind of scared, which is not al- easy for the Hound to do. He's always been afraid of fire, dude. That's what I'm saying, man. So it looks like uh, he looks a little bugged out right here. But yep. um, I love the significance right here in this frame with the fire going on, too. Just to kind of further implicate that, you know, his history with fire and shit. It's just oh, yeah. beautiful. Uh, and at the same time, this voiceover is going on. I promise to fight for the living. That leads into the next shot with Jamie. I intend to keep that promise. Who do you think he's talking to here, man? Oh, he's talking to Cersei. You think so? Yep. I think he's back down south. It looks kind of dark and gloomy, like up north somewhere. Mm. Do you think she would kill him though if he deserted her and then comes back down to talk to her, or does she go up there? Or I think she would. I think she wants to play strong, but at the end, she loves him, and she's lost so much already that she doesn't want to lose another. Mm-hmm. So she will flex, flex, flex all day. But I think when it comes to him, that at the, at the very last second, I don't. I don't think she would do it. Right. Well, another thing too, I kind of gather too is he could be talking to the people in Wonderful. Maybe this is right after he first shows up. Like, could be. Hey, I, I'm here. I promise to fight for the living. I'm, I'm it, keeping that promise. It definitely doesn't look like it's King's Landing because it's not. No, it's not. not all. It's not all pretty and ornate. No, that's what I was saying. This looks like it's up north, man. But and he and he's wearing traveling his his, his, his greaves, if you will. Yeah, yeah. Like he could be talking to Sansa when he first gets there, or John arrives. Or and he's John. Talking to John. Who knows? Yeah, he's talking to somebody up there. I think he's pleading his case to be part of the team so i'm thinking more along the lines of sansa or uh yeah or, or john snow yeah that's what i that's what i think too but i, I think it's yeah, that's what i love about these trailers man is you could take you could take a few different routes of where you think this scene is and what do you think they're doing they're um, smart they're not giving shit away no i know man that's what i love about it but i i don't i can't disagree with all your options man they all seem viable but um yeah, that leads into a very brief shot of somebody grabbing a bow. Yeah, I'm looking uh, at that. We're like, I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Yeah, just looks like a. Is it a bow or is it a bow and arrow maybe or something? A sword? Staff? I don't. I don't think it's, it looks like a staff or something. I don't fuck. I don't know. Yeah, it, it's it goes by very quick, and then it goes into a shot of John running in the fire. Um, clearly, something's going down. He's running towards somebody. This looks in the midst of battle as well. Or maybe towards the end of the battle. Then it cuts with some soldiers running towards what looks to be Winterfell. And then some horses running. It's just all a big blend of running shots. Like shit's this, going down. This next shot is fucking amazing, dude. The dragons? Yeah, dude. Yeah, now this is what I wanted to talk about. Yeah, damn, look at that. Whose bones are these? Did they just roast a group of people? Or... Have the dragons been camping out for a while and they came to find them? Or what's going on here? Those aren't human bones. That's those are more like, like those look more like herd animals to me. Look so how, look, look at the size of the ribs and shit. Yeah, so maybe the dragons fly off at one point and Daenerys and John have to come find them or something? Or maybe this is outside of Winterfell or something. Who knows? Maybe I they mean, just cooked could, up some dinner. Dude, it could be a variety of things, you know, like maybe the yeah. Maybe they lost. They came across a big battle where the dead won, and they don't want the dead to raise up, so they got to burn them all. Yeah, that too. Whatever the whatever the case is, they just had a sweet uh, a sweet meal. 
But what's that in the what's that in the middle? It's, that doesn't look like it's bone. It looks like a is it? I don't know what that is. Is it a? I can't tell. Like maybe it's a part of a wagon or something, a canvas or something. I don't know. Shit, could be, man. Could be. You never know. Mm-hmm. All I see is like ribs of animals or something. Yeah. But um. Yeah. Could be a variety of things. But yeah, it's a it's an awesome shot. But I don't. I mean, they're walking the way, but the way they're walking from the direction. I mean, there's nothing behind them. That's what I'm saying. It looks like they're on a fucking mountaintop or something. Yeah, they on a cliff or something or. Like, what the hell's going on, dude? Where are they? It's hard to tell. Look, look at look at the reverse. So there's yeah. the reverse shot of the dragons. Looks like a hill, like a hill or mountaintop in the background. That's what I'm saying. It looks like they're on a mountain. Yeah. Why the fuck would they be up there? Hmm. Or how would they get there unless they rode the dragons to get there? But that, don't don't they normally have the harnesses and saddles on the dragons of some sort, right? Or no? No, she just usually grabs the the horns and the scales. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure what? what to say about that. Okay. Yeah, me neither, man. Uh, then we got this next shot of Sansa being Sansa, just looking at something. So Most that chick. dullest face ever. <laughs> um, then we got a shot of Arya in the midst of battle, whipping ass. Um, there, there you go. You said something about a staff earlier. It looks like she's got a staff or something. Yeah, maybe so. But either way, she looks like she's whipping ass, dude. I, I really hope we don't. She doesn't die. It's not needle, that's for sure. No, I don't know where needle is or the dagger. I don't think she's got either one of them on her. Uh, she got the dagger on her. I see the dagger right there. But yeah, something's going down. This looks like this looks to be that same battle as earlier. Agreed. Uh, the fire battle. So uh, then we got a shot of Daenerys here, closing her eyes. Stunning. Yeah. Um, beautiful. But I'm in love. Don't know what's going on. Then we get a first. Uh, t- hey, Tyrion's here. They, first shot of him, surprisingly. And he has the hand of the king on. Why Almost is that? towards the end of the fucking trailer, he finally shows up. Why a does rare... he have the? Why does he have the pin on? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You still got the hand of the queen sigil on him. Uh, and of the king. Or queen in his case, but yeah. True. Uh, did he have that yeah. on him before? I, only yeah, it, I, I yeah, thought that was did. only in King's Landing, though. No, he no. she put it on him in Marine before they came over to Westeros. Oh, that's right. Okay. He's been wearing it ever since, but yeah, it's hard to tell what he's looking at or who he's looking at or what he's doing. It's just one quick shot of him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can't even tell where he's at. All I see, it looks like it's just dirt behind him. I don't think I don't think he's looking at a person. Could be looking at a dragon, maybe, or something. Yeah. And then surprisingly, it cuts to maybe he's about to get burned alive by a dragon. Nah. Maybe he turns on John or Danny or something. Total different lighting. It's not the same scene. No, I know. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> it's just funny how the next shot happens to be one of the dragons blowing fire at something. We can't tell. Right. Looks dark too. Like maybe it's at nighttime. Maybe he's just burning the army or mm-hmm. shooting fire at the army or something. Uh, and then it goes into one of my favorite shots here. You got the whole Unsullied army getting ready. And then you got a shot of Pod and Brienne right here, ready for battle. And then a really good shot of Jorah awaiting, <laughs> awaiting what we all know is coming. That's a great shot of Jorah right there. I love that shot of Jorah, dude. And then it cuts to the horse stepping, the horse feet stepping in the frame. We all know whose fucking horse that is. And that just sends chills down my spine every time I see that. Like, it's finally here. Like, all these years, man, we've known the Army of the Dead is going to be coming south. But the fact that they're finally here showing up at our hero's doorstep, it's like, dude, goosebumps, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Goosebumps. Um, yeah, that's it. Then it goes to Game of Thrones, the final season, April fourteenth on HBO. Blah 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 blah. And that's it. It's that's gonna it. be awesome, dude. I cannot wait. We got about a little bit over a month to wait, so it's almost here. Oh, it's um, gonna be awesome, dude. Yeah, it's gonna be great, though. It's gonna be great. But yeah, uh, if you got anything else to add, man, feel free. Otherwise, let's get out of here. Cool, man. Thanks yeah. for having me, brother. No problem, man. Thanks for joining me, man. I'm Zach. This has been a breakdown for the Game of Thrones season eight trailer. We'll be back in April when Game of Thrones hits. And Troll will be back on along with many others. But, um, yep, we'll see you next time.